uh, the SOYA Awards that were conducted on Friday at the uh, Kenyatta International uh, Conference Center, where Javelin Superstar World Champion Julia Siego was the biggest winner of the night after clinching a double by being crowned the 2015 overall Safaricom uh, Sports Personality of the Year in a glittering annual black tie gala on Friday night and one of the other winners was Ivan Kieng who was named uh, the corresponding or the women's uh, uh, sports personality of the year um, during those uh, ceremonies uh, that were conducted at uh, the KICC. In the studio I've uh, brought in uh, Shedrak Adinga and Denga to take us through uh, the highlights of that day and whether all those who won those uh, awards deserved it or they did not deserve. They will hear his voice about that. Mm -hmm. But first of all, welcome Shedra Kodinga. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, uh, the f Friday, there were two things that happened. One a sad thing, this uh, second one a really glittering mm -hmm. award ceremony. Mm -hmm. But then we lost, according to media reports, mm -hmm. uh, KDF soldiers. Mm -hmm. They came under attack. I don't know if you followed that. Yeah, I followed that. Um, I mean, the, the, the thing is that the Kenyan media, or the reports are yet to come out. How many soldiers did you use? But uh, when you follow a lot of international media, I'm a mm. great follower of maybe Al Jazeera mm. or DWTV, they are mentioning the number to be 60 to 71. Which is, is not which confirmed. Is, but yeah, which is not confirmed, but it's just a, it's all a huge All the authorities number. are really working really hard to, mm -hmm. to get us all that information. To our KDF soldiers and the entire nation, we really say pole because uh, we know that you are standing with this country. We are also, as sports chat, standing with you so as to make this country a secure nation. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, uh, after all that that happened in the mm -hmm. evening, there was a glittering ceremony mm -hmm. at KICC yeah. where Julia so Siebel... Yeah, and, and, them as and, as and, and I there. saw a Rio there. Uh, uh, what is he doing there? <laughs> I mean, there you go again. What was he doing a there? A person of interest for Shadda. But, but, uh, but I mean, it's just like my grandmother used to tell me uh -huh. if you did not go to the garden uh -huh. to try and help me uh -huh. toll the soil sow the seeds mm -hmm. what are you doing when the food is on the table <laughs> but but then it doesn't take anything away from uh, julia soyego's uh, 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 triumph um i think it's a good thing i mean first of all let me mention uh, when you talk about julia Siego for once i remember uh, during the press conferences and i was talking to paul tergat mm -hmm. and um he was talking about something new i mean since soya was started we've all well, it, it is all have been about track and field, sure. but now we're looking at someone who's not, um, who's not a runner trying to win it. Mm -hmm. uh, for the first time, we're seeing um, other sports being included, like football, though I did not really agree that Gormaya was the best men's team of the year, but at least we're seeing something apart from that being included. So mm -hmm. I think it's such a good thing when you see uh, someone that, like uh, Julius Yerga, Javanil Thrower, winning it, because most of the years, it's just been uh, Ezekiel Kamboi, Asbel, David Rudisha, mm -hmm. you know, these are all runners, you know. So I think it's... Um, it, 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 it shows that sport in Kenya is growing. And, um, you know, as a unit, when, it, when you talk about athletics as a unit, yeah. uh, by the definition of it, uh, it, should be, it should even include games like Taekwondo and Karate, which is part of athletics. Mm -hmm. So I think in future, I would also like to see um, athletes from the uh, spheres of uh, Taekwondo, uh, mm -hmm. Karate, anything that is athletic being included there, inclusive of rugby too. Mm, it was a stellar uh, year for Julia Siego. I think so. And, uh, I think so. Uh, how, how far will that go towards inspiring other kids mm -hmm. who would like to take up uh, javelin or the non-track uh, events? I mean, there are so many other kids, even before Julia Ziego, mm -hmm. javelin was being thrown in Kenya. We're talking about just someone who came up. That's why I normally put the blame on Federation Storskin. Mm -hmm. I mean, what has the Federation done to try and improve other athletic events? You know, Julia Ziego is a self-taught athlete, mm -hmm. you know, by watching through YouTube. But how many uh, how many kids out there w really would like to be like Julia's yoga, even have an access to a computer, live alone the internet? Mm -hmm. So if we are talking about everyone has to go on YouTube and learn this thing, it will be so difficult. I think it's, it comes back to the Federation. What type of the structures have they put in place mm -hmm. to make sure that if Andenga today is seven years old and wants to be like Julia's Yego, and maybe I'm at 
Shamusi Injiri Primary School. Yeah. We have those structures. Like when you go to uh, PE, yeah. you know, you can go to the sports uh, education teacher. Yeah. Give me a javelin. Show me how to do this. We should have those mm -hmm. uh, structures in place so that we nurture a young talent. In Swahili, we have a saying that goes, um, Sama Kim Kunjangalimbichi. You start at a young age. Yeah. Uh, we also celebrated the sports team of the year, women, as the uh, Kenya Volleyball Women's Team, the Malkia Strikers. Okay, strikers. They've also had a good performance. But uh, the downside is that uh, there's nowhere the mention of the men's team and mm -hmm. uh, Waidaka Kioni was here in yeah. the studio saying that uh, this year they'll want really to pull all stops to make sure mm -hmm. that the men's team also performs. Uh, do you think that is uh, possible? Um, again, it falls back to the federation. But I think a lot of emphasis has been laid uh, when it comes to volleyball. Uh, a lot of emphasis, even by the, 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 the Ministry of Sports, has been laid on women. Uh, I think the reason being is because women perform more than men, but I think uh, there should be a gender balance here because we are kind of forgetting our men who also are doing equally good. Uh, when you see the kind of sponsorship that women have, uh, the quality of training sessions and everything, mm -hmm. you know, they don't get locked out sometimes uh, out of stadiums doing practice sessions. I think the women have been... Um, laid a lot of emphasis as opposed to men you know i don't think even men have uh, like the last time i watched them going to the african championship mm -hmm. they didn't have a sponsorship up to up to the last week so when you look at such things it shows you that um at the marketing department of this team someone is just being lazy mm -hmm. someone should go home you know we just don't take these positions for power purposes just because we want to say oh robin toskin is the manager for our ambassadors what are you doing there Mm. Uh, Julius Siego immediately he was uh, crowned the sports personality of the year. Um, he urged the government, he urged also the uh, cabinet uh, secretary uh, Hassan Wario to continue with his good efforts to rid uh, the country or to rid the athletic family of uh, doping and he said that it's, it's really tarnishing uh, the names of uh, uh, other hard-working athletes mm -hmm. in the country. Do you think uh, if uh, Diego says that his voice will mm -hmm. add impetus to the efforts uh, we are trying to put in place. I, I don't think Diego's voice will add is, is of any importance. Maybe he just said it for the sake of saying. I mean, I think for Diego, just win your crown and go home and relax, practice for the next uh, championship. Mm -hmm. I mean, when is the last time you heard about anti-doping uh, agency of Kenya? thing was launched in Kenya like two or three years ago. What he was waiting on the WADA report for him to call a press conference and he's like cleaning on the straws just mm. to say, oh, I hope Kenya is not mentioned. I hope Kenya, when Kenya is not mentioned, now he's calling a press conference. But yeah, he, he did agency that of on Kenya. Thursday exactly. as we were waiting for that report. Uh, what is the purpose for that? And then that's where you're coming to tell us that we've set aside oh, 100 million Kenya shillings. We'll have offices yeah, he said 500 million, 500 million Kenya shillings. Place, yeah. But that money was supposed to be there three years ago. Mm -hmm. Let's not wait on them. Let's not wait on the international bodies to try and do something so mm -hmm. that you can do something. Mm -hmm. It shows how lazy or incompetent you are. Mm. In our standard newspaper today, mm -hmm. on page 41, we have a very good interview uh, on, uh, uh, on uh, Asbel Kiprop, the three-time world uh, champion in 1500 meters. He spoke to our senior associate editor, Isaac Omulo Koth, and he said that uh, athletes who've been busted should name those dishonest uh, uh, doctors that are helping these athletes uh, dope. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, how important is that call? Can it achieve anything? Yeah, I totally agree with him. That's how United States do it. Mm -hmm. you remember Michael uh, Marion Jones? Yes. Back in the days? Yeah, he had to mention the whole line of people. That's okay. how it should be done. Mm -hmm. Because here in Kenya, we're just trying to fight you. Mm -hmm. But then the, 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 the real people, are, are the real people who read the scripts yeah. are still left you know, untouched. Mm -hmm. It means that if I'm a rogue doctor, I still can attend to other clients who are these athletes. Mm -hmm. So if I'm not named, if I'm not punished, I still continue practicing. Mm. You know, that's because, the because we know that uh, there are pharmacy, uh, pharmacies in this country that uh, exactly, import those drugs. Exactly, they import yeah. them and they sell them locally. Yes, exactly. the, athletes, the athletes, I don't think they have the, the, the medical knowledge of how but, to But do let all me this. tell you, let me tell you, that's, I, I think it's just something that we keep on hiding. Because most of the athletes in Kenya come from the Rift Valley region. And uh, some of them even cannot speak English properly. But that's a lie. Mm. That's a lie. You know what you're doing. Come on, you cannot be in the sport for 10 years as a professional athletes and you have no idea about what uh, 
what about whey protein is, mm. what uh, clientine is. Come on, that, that's a, mm. a damn Ma life. Matthew Kisori was banned for two years and he has uh, completed his, uh, his, his uh, punishment mm -hmm. and uh, he's on record to have come out and said that uh, this thing is going on mm -hmm. in this country. And Asbel Kiprop now has come forward and, tell, and told these athletes that if you know something, please uh, pass that information to the relevant authorities. Do you think these athletes can do that? Is there a way they can do it without being victimized? I think um, it's just like saying, I mean, it's a criminal offense. It's a criminal offense. If you do it, you go down. I mean, I think it's upon the authorities to be hard on them. <laughs> you know, just be hard on in as much as you wanna rack in those millions, but be hard on them. You can't tell me like Rita Jepto, I mean, winning a Boston Marathon with uh, 40 million Kenya shillings mm. at stake. You have a foreign coach, and you're still saying that you didn't know this thing is illegal. Mm -hmm. Come on, what is? I mean, you're either dumb or your foreign coach is dumber than you are. Mm. Uh, Kiplagar has even said uh, the, uh, one of the marathoners has said that she wants her pass money because she's finished the second on several occasions <laughs> and uh, the, some of those athletes busted uh -huh. are yet to return the money so that she can reap from that. Do you think it is a good move that I those think, who failed I to think when you talk about doping it? when you talk about doping you're looking on two things it's all about fame and money mm -hmm. that's why people do it that's, people, that's why people become cheats you know, because they want that fame. Uh, when you become famous, you're getting money because of endorsements and win those marathons. You're getting a lot of money. That's mm. why I'm saying if the authorities, and uh, led by the Federation of Athletics Kenya, should come up hard. If you're caught busted that, you you know, the results came out um, positive, you're supposed to name every single person mm -hmm. who sold you those drugs. When you get to, Robin Toskin is the owner of this chemist. Where did you get these drugs? We're supposed to go down the whole chain. Mm. We're trying to not only destroy the, the tree, yeah. but destroy it from the roots. Because mm. you can cut the tree, but still the roots will, you know, they're getting nutrients, so the tree will still sprout out. So you, you, you think uh, the anti-doping agency of Kenya should have a starting point like uh, an athlete like Matthew Kisorio, who owned up, mm -hmm. served his suspension, mm -hmm. and he's come back. Mm -hmm. Do you think uh, such athletes can play a big role in exposing... They can play a big role. But, I mean, anti-doping agency of Kenya, this thing was launched in Kenya like two or three years ago. Mm -hmm. Why are we talking it about now? Mm -hmm. Th those are the kind of incidences where I'm talking about. Where is Wario? When you're talking about now, where were you three years ago? This thing should have been done three years ago. Mm. We should be talking about something else right now, like keeping clean spots. You, you, you saw the WADA report, the second WADA report, where a dick pound the chair of the commission of WADA and Richard McLaren were talking about Lamin Diak. Mm. They, they, they highly mentioned... They, they're talking about cover-up. Exactly. Uh, you, you That's think... what you're doing here in Kenya. It's all, it's all about cover-up. Mm. We know where the problem is. Don't tell me Wario doesn't know where the problem Wario is. Wario should now take Isaiah advantage Kipla of that. Isaiah Kiplagat and knew where the problem is. But oh. what did they do? They should take advantage of uh, that uh, dick pound report and mm -hmm. ensure that AK you know, comes clean? Because I, I, I don't think uh, uh, the, the WADA or IAAF, uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't think we've escaped the, the knife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we are still going to get circumcised. They have said as much. They have said <laughs> as much. They say circumcised. that uh, uh, their mandate did not focus on Kenya, but mm -hmm. they have... Uh, on Russia, mainly. Yeah, they have advised that advice. a commission be set up mm -hmm. so as it looks... And trust uh, me, they'll get us. They'll mm -hmm. get us. Okay. They'll get us because uh, we are those kind of people uh, in Kenya. Uh, we are just waiting for food to be served so that you can join in mm. and eat. But you normally, when people are going to the garden to dig, you are nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Let's move now to uh, football matters now because uh, the African Nation Championship has kicked off in uh, Rwanda where the... The, the tournament comprises uh, of 16 teams mm -hmm. uh, drawn from uh, different regions of uh, mm -hmm. Africa. And we saw on the opening day, Rwanda beat Ivory Coast 1-0. And then on the second day, we've, saw, we've seen uh, uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo beating Ethiopia 3-0. Mm -hmm. This tournament, it is meant for players for playing their trade in the domestic league domestic leagues, or yeah. their countries of birth. Mm -hmm. Kenya are not there. Yeah. Even yeah. if you were there, we'd be surprised. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you're you downright condescending. You, you, you beat uh, negative, uh, really. No, about, it's not uh, that I'm being negative. Mm. I'm just speaking the truth. Mm. I mean, when you well, look at Democratic Republic of Congo, seriously, yeah. uh, when, you, when you talk about the DRC having the best team in Africa, Le Tupu, Zama, Zembe, Englebet, you look at the kind of quality they ha of players they have, like Joel Kimwaki. Mm. You know, these are players that are playing their trade at home. 
you know, have, uh, if you can win that title. That has been your sports segment. I've been your presenter, Robin Toskin, and of course, Shedrak Odinga and Denga coming through to help us with analysis. Until next Monday, I say goodbye.